are an excel and send it to many people so and many people use that excel update it and so on so and excel size gets huge but when it is a csv right uh-huh. okay when you want to use for data processing uh uh-huh. sing see the applications will be able to read a csv faster than an excel and the csv okay. size will be comparatively less so it's more like a, if you want to process the same data faster for uh, these kinds of is a power bi and uh, application right so it uses uh, multiple sources and rather than an excel if you have the data as a csv it will process faster that's it so it's in the back end part of it i think in your purpose you will use more majorly excel but yeah if, if i am a developer right like um, for me rather than excel i'll get my data source in an uh, as a csv it's a different format okay but still it's a uh, part of microsoft office i see okay interesting <clears throat> i i just never came across using it you know yeah 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 it's pretty uh, i think uh, if you're working in uh, uh, my kind of role it is uh, uh, more common but uh, yeah i think even if you're a business analyst you might rarely get into it but mostly it's excel yeah so wow. let's leave it at that so yeah uh, let me know if you are able to see my screen um i let me see yep i can see your screen now yep okay okay so uh yesterday i was telling about the data uh, dimensions measures and uh, uh, values and uh, uh how you uh, how a categorical value can be used to create a, a dimensional value and all that right yes okay so i think uh, w- w- one topic i uh, i thought of telling and after that i thought of uh, making you do the demo so the topic i wanted to tell you was about uh, joins so i told right like we have uh, two two tables now okay so uh, let me open them so we have the product sub categories and we have the products yeah. uh, and i told you about the primary key foreign key and all that stuff so yeah. basically uh, let's assume this is our main table okay so these are our products and these are these products all come under a uh, product sub category okay but see instead of the product sub category name we have only the keys okay so this means this is a foreign key and this is referenced from another table that is this table okay see in most instances you won't have this uh, primary key secondary key level concepts but it will be like some identifier will be there so uh, in the main table main excel sheet you will have some main information and in another excel sheet there will be like uh, uh, identifier and def- information through which you need to map it and based on that you can get the other data to this so uh, i'll quickly show you then it's easy for you to understand so for example in the in this table if you see we have the product sub category okay, okay. but we need the product sub category name okay so how do you bring that okay there are many ways to do, do this uh i'll tell you the first way to do it so uh, as you know this is the place where you can uh, have all the uh, tables and you can do all the manipulations so we saw some options in home view transform and all so today we are going to see the option in column okay add column so you add a customer column okay okay What what are you gonna call it? One second, one second. I think. Okay. Okay. Uh, be, be, you can call it like whatever you want. Uh, so this is the new column name. So you can call name it. cost plus price okay for example cost plus prc so you can give all kinds of formula here so i'll say product cost or is product cost plus product 
price okay so this new custom column can be anything okay uh, based on the available columns it will take it and uh, it will uh, map it okay so and if there is any error when you do it like this is a simple thing so you can do okay so i'm just clicking okay and whatever new column custom column you add it will be added in the last part so it should be ideally a, a decimal number okay so what it does is uh, whatever is the value that you added right uh, using the formula it uh, does that so in this case i am just uh, counting the cost and price so whatever is the submission or addition of that it is uh, it takes that so well, oh, okay. yeah so, so what you're adding two columns and then uh, yeah uh, uh, row by row okay exactly exactly so see what it does is rather than you uh, what to say uh, Uh, every every time like for for you it's like uh, it's easier if you do here okay like uh, uh, otherwise you do uh, there are like something called dax okay these are all the advanced functions that we do in power bi so rather than doing that like you can do all your manipulations uh, here so if if instead of these two if there is something called uh, uh, what to say number of products so number of products and uh, product price then you can multiply it so you can even do a multiplication so i'll just edit it and instead of plus if i make it a uh, star it will multiply see so this is up to you to like do whatever uh, uh, mathematical functions you want to do and most cases it will be uh, um, so addition subtraction multiplication mostly okay and then what else i want yeah, to we have uh, the same thing in excel too right yeah 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 it's the same excel function only so whatever you can do in excel most of the things you can do in power bi so that is that okay and the next is uh what else okay then i'll tell you about the data modeling okay and, and whatever change you do right uh, you need to close and apply so there there is something called close and apply apply and close so if you simply close it what will happen whatever changes or additions you did it won't save so you need to click close and apply okay then only in the power bi it will get saved and if you go to the data table see that cost price is added if you didn't do if that you, like if you do only close it does not save it yeah yeah whatever changes you do it won't uh, save it. Uh, apply will save it but it won't close it it'll stay on it yeah so make sure that if you do something you save it otherwise it won't be there okay, okay. and uh, next we wanted to show this this one okay so uh, you have like multiple excels added so currently we have to say so yesterday you told right you if you can add 10 20 see whatever you add it will come here in the list and if you want to quickly take a look so every time you cannot go back to the excel and see right so what you can do is there are three options in this pane okay reports data and model okay we'll go to the model in a second and for now we'll go to data so if you go to data so the whatever tables you have it will be there in selection and uh, you can see uh, this also okay so i'm uh, default this table is selected this source is selected and whatever data is there in the excel it is displayed okay so it is for you to view okay if you have some doubt you want to see what all columns are there you can check and if you select the second one the data from those columns are there so it is for you to view okay so you want to see what are all the columns are there rather than every time opening the excel this is a view that you can use that and here also i think you can create a new column yes. see the same way it will show but uh, i'll suggest not to do because it is complex 
uh, from the uh, that earlier pane only you try to do but yeah it also gives you all these options now we'll go to model okay so so this is what i was telling you about okay and a uh, uh, good feature in power bi is it has automatically created so i'll tell you what it did see i told you right product sub category and product sub category are uh, common uh, things in both these tables i did tell you that right mm -hmm. yeah yeah see in this two in what both these i have sent you see this product sub category key in this table and the product sub category in this uh, products table they are the same so they match the values so the for the same key here 31 if you go to 31 so it will have the product name okay so the so sorry sub category name uh, that's how they are related and power bi has automatically identified uh, with the column header that it is uh, having a similarity and uh, made a uh, what to say relationship okay this way when you want to for each product you want to find the particular product category it will automatically find so i'll, I'll just show in an example okay um, so in in model if you come and if you see this there is a, a line here then it means there is a relationship between these two excels okay so and you can see the column also so i'll tell you like how it worked so i'm going to create a table okay so quickly so i'm creating a table okay in this table i am putting product names okay and i'll create one slicer this slicer i will have okay super okay see now i have selected uh, basically nothing this only so if you go to this excel if i have selected uh, this this is what i did instead of doing it in excel i have done the same thing in power bi okay so this product category i have selected and these are all the products okay in that category so yeah so this is these are the products okay so but i need the product sub category name for all these products okay we have only the keys here okay see from the table that you have pulled you can only get the sub category key i'll show you so see 111 so you have selected one in the filter and one only is there but you want the name okay how will you get the name in excel what you will do you will copy uh, that particular value right 31 or 1 what it's whatever it is and then paste it so it's a laborious process but here you can see since the relationship is there you can simply take that value from the other uh, sub category name and keep it that's it see so that's how you define a relationship in excel so basically uh, maybe if you can later uh, uh, tell me a real time to excel that you have with relationship we'll build it and uh, do a demo on your side so what i'm trying to say is if you have multiple excels and data is there in many places uh, you don't need to do like uh, copy paste in a single excel to do it uh, in your power bi report rather you can build a single uh, 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 you can build a model between them or a Uh, relationship between those two excel sheets based on the common values and using that you can take the uh, values that you want so basically now we have product uh, products with their uh, respective sub categories so any sub category you select it will show for the uh, products <coughs> respective work products so uh, just let me know if i explain this clear or you want one more uh, uh, for that yeah when 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 i go through it uh uh hands on it, it will be clearer yeah, yeah. Don't worry, keep keep going keep going 
yeah i think uh, from yesterday and today these were the main topics i wanted to do so maybe quickly you can share your screen with this files we'll quickly uh, you can do hands on and any doubt i can explain and whatever